everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is tamara i wanted to try something um different um i've been kind of in a funk lately you know just about life and feeling a little down so i just thought maybe i'd try to spruce myself up today um playing some makeup and then maybe go take some pictures or so i've been probably really late to the game um but i've been seeing a lot of makeup looks inspired by um, um one of the newer shows um that's come out in the past couple of months called euphoria um and in the show the makeup's just insane it's crazy it's so good um but it's very like hawaii 2k inspired like colorful rhinestones um stuff like that so i um have been inspired by that so i ordered some rhinestones off amazon so i guess we will see how that works out um so we're gonna be playing around with some rhinestones today i think i'm gonna have to do one eye off camera though because i really have no idea how this is gonna turn out just so the video's not too long so um when i have an idea of where i'm going i'll be back all right guys i'm back um this is what i've come up with i um made um, a wing with white eyeliner and then I put these um, some rhinestones from this um, pack um, on top of the white liner and the um, the rhinestones they come in different sizes uh, I'll leave the link down below um, for these specific ones um, they're nail rhinestones um, I would recommend getting nail rhinestones because they come with like the really really tiny ones um, and that way they can fit in your the inner corner. Um, so, um, and then the kit comes with this um, tool that you can pick them up with. And then I'm just using eyelash glue um, to adhere them to my eye line. It takes a lot of concentration. So I'm just taking the, um, picking up the rhinestone on the back of here. And then just brushing some eyelash glue on the back of the rhinestone. Just we're going to want to make our wing liner with our white eyeliner and this is just the Sephora brand white eyeliner. I think that's dry enough. So I'm just gonna take one of the um, tiny rhinestones the smallest size that comes in the pack. Pick up some of a few of them on the back of my picker upper tool. Like once I stuck it in there, like three of them attached. So, so um, I just set them down, on, sit them down on the table in front of me, and then I take um, the tool and. Just dip in the back in some glue. Yeah, I'm done. And then you can also adjust it if it's not in the right place. I think I'm gonna put one more on the very inner corner on this one too. And then I use the other side of it if I need to um, move anything around or adjust it because it's the middle. All right, moving on to the next one. And I do about three of the super tiny ones on the inner, on the inner corner of my eye. And I hope you guys can hear me. Eyelashes is so 
clearly that they're getting in the way. Ugh. Okay. Sephora and I um, got some new stuff. Um, Sephora had all their like um, gift sets out, um, and I wanted to try the new Smashbox primer. I mean, this new Smashbox foundation, and they had this um, gift set over there for Christmas. It says $45 value for $22. So it has the um, the original photo finish smooth and blur primer the uh, photo finish primer water and the photo finish primerizer so i'm going to be using this in conjunction with the smashbox studio skin full coverage 24 hour foundation I'm excited about this i've heard um, a lot of good things about it um Tiffany soto actually was raving about it um so I wanted to try it for myself. I moisturized this morning before I went and got my hair done, so I think I'm all good on that front. It hasn't been that long ago. Um, but I also picked up this um, Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir Spray. It says smoothing and glowing for a smoothing and glowing complexion effect. So I'm gonna spray this before I get started on my face. That smells great. I'm going to um, go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. So it's a primer and a moisturizer in one. I go in with the Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Now I'm going to read a little bit about this foundation. Alright, so it claims to be a weightless 24 hour full coverage foundation with oil and shine control that is also waterproof, sweat resistant, and won't look cakey or ca cause blemishes. Um, it's a specially formulated foundation with super lightweight ingredients to give you a weightless comfortable feel without sacrificing coverage. 24 hour full coverage, packed with pigment, smooths, um, it smooths with hyaluronic acid. I love hyaluronic acid because it's just going to pump up your skin and keep it hydrated. Um, I have combination dry skin, so um, I love hyaluronic acid. Um, oil and shine control. It has kaolin clay with bamboo powder, so that controls oil and shine. Claims to have a soft focus blurring effect with light scattering spheres. It claims to be waterproof and sweat and humidity resistant. All right, so... Wow, my nail just popped off. Great. Just press on, so put it back on later. <laughs> so, um, I've heard that a little of this goes a very long way, um, and that it does dry fast, so you'll want to work fast. Um, I'm trying out this Sonia Kashuk sponge. I've heard good things about it as well. I'm scared, y'all. Oh my god. 
Um, and this is the shade, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you the shade that I'm using. Um, which I hope works out. This is the shade um, 405, um, 4.05. Now the undertone says warm peach, but the other ones were um, a little bit too dark. Um, all the neutral and warm ones were a little bit too dark. So um, I'm gonna try this one. I'm scared, I'm trying to find something to put this on, so. I don't use too much because it a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just literally putting the smallest amount on this. To start with. Literally. <laughs> All right. Or maybe I can dot it on. Okay. That's not too much. Okay. This is my first impression, y'all. Like, I tried it on Sephora just to get a shade match, but. Not to put it on my whole entire face. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. about full coverage wow oh yeah i'm just gonna go and um, dot some on the other side of my face and then whatever's left over i will put it on my forehead I'm not sure about this sponge, it's a little stiff. Maybe it just needs some need to be worked in. sponge as for right now I'm gonna go to my try and true my real technique sponge pretty happy with that I'm getting th this to be a, a matte foundation which is scary um, for me because I have combination again 
so um, hydration is going to be the key with this foundation for me um, so <laughs> I'm going to be spraying some more of um, this beauty elixir for hydration all right guys so I'm back um, this is the finished look um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out um, I was kind of scared to you know step out of the box and try something new um, I've seen a couple of um, looks on YouTube where people had tried you know rhinestone eyeliner but they also had like eyeshadow on but I wasn't trying to get that intricate because I'm just playing around in makeup, so and I didn't want to ruin it on my first try. So, um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you really like the look, because um, I love it. I love the way that it came out. Um, now I'm going to go outside and take some pictures, um, and if you want to see how the pictures turn out, um, you should follow me on Instagram. My handle is Tamara Faith. Um, and again, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, you guys, please. Um, it would help me a lot. Um, share. Um, it's just as simple as, you know, sharing the video or sharing the link to my channel. Um, just to get, um, you know, my name out there. I really appreciate it. Um, and leave comments down below, um, as always. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video.